Hello everybody! I'm back with surprisingly enough an unboxing. It's Smuggler's Bounty, my first one. But you say, hey, isn't that great out? That's an old box. It's a Cantina box. I believe. I got four of them at one time. I got some caught up. I got caught up. They had a special on Black Friday, 40% off, so I've been putting quite a few of these up, so don't get surprised when you're like, hey, this guy's kind of late in opening his, unbo his boxes. Um, anyways, let's check it out. So, Cantina, Greedo, The Force Awakens. Uh, maybe it's a promotional, but I don't think the Cantina from Greedo was in that. But I missed it, but who knows? Cross promotion. Let's get it open. We've got uh, little Pete here. Let's cut the tape. And see what's inside. Everybody else is kind of like this guy. is like way behind. Uh-oh, lost my button. It's in the box somewhere. Don't oh, give me an empty wrapper. Rude. I've got Burrito. Looks like he made this before he got shot first. There we go. Kind of snazzy-razzy. Cool. Behold your share of smuggler's bounty. Turn sideways. We have a t-shirt. It's not the t-shirt I wanted. I'm sending it back. Of course, who didn't want Han Solo, right? Anyways, here we go. Let's take a look at this shirt. They have wanted shirts from mystery criminals across the galaxy. Uh, who is this guy? Panda Baba. Wanted for smuggling. They should have called him Harry Butt. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> looks like a big... I'm not going to say what that looks like, but uh, anyways, maybe he likes tea. Issued by Galactic Empire. Caution. Caution. Aqu Aqualish. Never knew that. Gender male, 1.7 meters. Hair black. Eye color black. Nut sack color, skin tone. We've got Chaka. A little pop pen, I guess you'd say. My first one. I don't have any of these yet. If I take it to work, somebody will just steal it. They don't even like it, but, you know, they just want to take it. To take it. First pop. Ben. Kenobi. This is pretty cool. Got this little lightsaber. Let's pop him open. Take a quick peek. Of course, all Star Wars are bobbleheads. It's got a little lightsaber. I always thought it'd be cool if they had their names in the front. We all know their names, but still. Rather unadorned in the back, but that's the Jedi way. No? Yeah? No? Not sure? Okay, we'll find out. Now, there was a variant on these. You got the, the red one or the blue one. I believe the blue one is the rare one. This going this going back to the original Star Wars movie, the toys, they sent over production pictures from the um, original toy line. When they made the original toy line, they were in black and white. And so the original figure was very tall, and I believe the blue or the red outfit, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, he's not in the back. But when the movie came out, they said, oops, that's not correct. He was short and in a different outfit. So they re-released him, i.e. why the original figure is rare, and why this guy came into variants. I've got my button. It's the little guy from the Cantina Band. Let's see. Oh, come on. Here we go. Enough of that. Looks like a little slight dark uh, dust star printing. Pretty nifty. So, that was my first 
smugglers bounty unboxing I like them they're kind of simple there's not a lot in them but yet you get what you get it's pretty cool and I did my homework I looked up that snaggletooth conundrum we were in and win for the team the blue one is the rare one I should have known it but I didn't want to assume and misquote myself and go out to refilm everything all over again and look wrong anyways Blue one's a rare one. Now I gotta go find the common one, which hey, went for me. Um, so anybody, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment down below on anything you might have liked. Questions for me? I'm an open book. Thanks, thanks again. Catch you later, peeps.